What's going on guys, Griffin here. Today I'm back with another tutorial. This one's how to make a Minecraft modded server in 1.12.2. First thing you're going to want to do, stray into it, make a folder, name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it server. Alright, then you want to go to the first link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page right here. What you want to do is download the recommended installer. It's going to make you wait 5 seconds, but after that, just click skip. Alright, you're going to want to save this to your desktop. And before you open this, make sure you download Java 8. The link will be in the description. So now you want to go to this file you just downloaded. It should say Forge 1.12.2. Go ahead and open that after you downloaded Java. Make sure the bottom here says roaming slash dot minecraft. If it does, make sure you hit install client and then OK. Alright guys, the next step after you install it to your client, you're going to want to open your minecraft launcher. It just say forge and 1.12.2 under it. If it says that, you want to hit play. And what we're doing now is basically telling minecraft that we have forge downloaded. So it's going to load in all the files that the installer didn't. In this video, I'm not going to be explaining how your friends can join you. Because um, that's port forwarding and that's a whole video on its own. But if you guys don't know how or you guys want me to make the video, just let me know in the comments. And I'll get around to making that. Once Minecraft is open, you should see mods, like four mods loaded. Doesn't matter. Just close it. Alright, now you're going to want to open the server folder that we just made. Yours might be called differently. Right click, new, text document. Now you want to open this text document. Go to the second link in the description. It's going to bring up this page right here. You see this text in purple? You want to copy all of this. Just copy and go ahead and paste it into this folder. Alright. And now the next step, right here, you're going to want to change this 1024 to 2048. So 2048, right here, there's two of them, 2048. And then you want to delete this Minecraft underscore. Then you want to delete this point one point twenty one point one. So now it should say server.jar. All that Minecraft and the version should be gone. Now at the very end, you want to hit enter and type in pause. This is going to let us see any errors if it crashes. So go ahead and hit save as. Then name it run.bat. Then as save as file type, you're going to want to change this from text documents to all files. And go ahead and hit save. You can delete this notepad now, we're done using it. Alright, the second link in the description is going to bring you to this page right here. The Minecraft 1.12.2 uh, released page. You're going to want to hit Minecraft Server Jar. Save that to your desktop. Once it's done downloading, you want to drag this file, the server file, into your folder with the run file. After that, you're going to want to just load it up. Load up run. It's going to take a second, but it's starting up your server for the first time. You should see a message like this. It says you need to agree to the whatever this is. So we're going to do that now. You see the EULA text document in here? You want to open that. Change this from false to true. File. Save. And then you want to run it again. Alright, when you see it says done, you want to just type in stop, then enter. Alright. The next step after this will be to install Forge to the server. You already installed it to your client, now you want to install it to your server. So go ahead, that first file that we downloaded, the installer, you want to open that up. 
Go to install server this time. Click on these three, the three dots right there and go to wherever your server folder is. So the server we made in the very beginning with all your files in it, you want to go ahead and select that then press OK. All right, once it's done, just hit OK. And when you open your folder again, it should say Forge 1.12.2 and Minecraft server. Now here's the part where a lot of people get confused on. I had to watch a couple videos myself to learn. This old server right here, the one that just says server, nothing else. You're going to want to delete this. Then go to Forge 1.12.2. You want to rename it. And you just want to call it Forge. Nothing else except for Forge, okay? And now we need to edit our run command. So go ahead and go to the run file. Hit edit. Edit in notepad or just edit. Then you want to change the server.jar. You want to change it to forge.jar. After that, go to file. Hit save. And then run your server. What this is going to do is install mods to your server. So you see that mods folder that popped up. Uh, just let it load up now. Alright, once it's done loading, same thing, you want to type in stop and enter. Always stop your servers, guys. Always stop them. And then close out of there. And now the only thing left to do is find a mod. So what you're going to want to do is just find any mod. You can just type it in like just enough items mod on Google. It will bring you to Curse Forge. What you're going to want to do is find filter by 1.12.2 because that's the version of Minecraft we're using. So you want to find 1.12.2. I'm using just enough items as an example. Then you want to go to the first one then hit download. Alright, once you get it, you can just save it to your desktop for now. You want to take this file that we just downloaded. Sorry. Just enough items. You want to drag this to your mods folder in the server file. So if you go to mods, you should see the mods you have downloaded. Now you want to right click this. Copy. Then you want to press the Windows key and R on your keyboard at the same time. It should open the run box. Type in percent, app data, percent. No capitals, no spaces. Hit OK. Then the first file will be .minecraft. You want to open this. You want to go to the mods folder in here. And all you want to do is paste that mod into the mods folder. You need the same mods from your server in your actual .minecraft server to join. Because the mods are on the server, they're not on your client, if that makes sense. So after that, you want to just close out of there. Go ahead and open your server. So hit the run command. And then go open your Minecraft launcher. Once your Minecraft launcher is open, make sure it says Forge 1.12.2 and hit play. So you can see it loading in, it said just enough items. And that means everything is good on the client side. So as you can see, it's just enough items. You want to go to multiplayer, add server, you could type in localhost or zero, and then done. As you can see, here's your Minecraft folder, or your Minecraft server, sorry. And it says five mods present, so that's perfect. That's letting us know that we downloaded the mod. So now we're in our server. Looks like everything's good. And as you can see, we have just enough items right here. 
If you guys did find this tutorial helpful, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just type them down in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Peace.